Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, Rams. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Rams. So we've been taking care of yourself as always, right? Yes. Thank you all so much, Rams, for your love, your support. Shout out to the beautiful soul tribe. Thank you all so much as well. We're going to go ahead and dive into your general love reading for today, Rams. All right. We're first going to start with an oracle message here from the divine. See what messages or suggestions that the universe has for for your love life all right and then of course we're going to dive into some tarot to see who is in your energy here this week today and why and then we're going to close out to see how this person feels what are some things this person may want to say express to you or even get off their chest right so no further ado rams let's go ahead and dive into your general love reading. what do we have for your guardian angels ancestors for my rams Let's see what we have for Aries placements here. What's going on in Aries love life for the collective placements for Rams? All right. We have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Aries. Mm. I want to say full moon in Taurus. So full moon in Aries could be significant. Um, however, whatever this is that you're manifesting for yourself, whatever this is that you are wanting to implement, in your life, in your daily routine, we want to make sure to have a practical plan. The universe is saying that whatever ideal or whatever you're trying to manifest, you have a great ideal. It's a great opportunity to bring in more peace, prosperity, abundance, things of that sort. But we just need a practical plan. We got to write something down in writing, get it organized, things of that sort. So it could flourish successfully here. Okay. And then we have, yeah, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Some of y'all may be exchanging energies with the Sagittarius here, or you could be exchanging energies with a Taurus, or you're needing to rectify a situation with a Taurus or a Sagittarius in order to make this work all right or to allow this practical plan and looking at the bigger picture some y'all need to focus on the placements in your chart of where you have taurus energy and sagittarius energy at in order to rectify whatever this may be rather this is a person a place or a thing here right now okay so wow let's get into some tarot here let's see what's going on in your love life let's see who is in your energy aries and why and how is the crowning of the messages here pertaining to your dreams in a practical plan and look at the bigger picture here okay what do we have for aries placements when it comes to love and romance what do we have for Aries when it comes to love and romance? All right, let's see what's going on in your love life. Now, the reading here are general, so definitely take what resonates for you, Rams. Leave here on the table, as always, what does not. If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box, all right? What do we have for the Rams? What's going on in Aries? Okay, love life. The card flew way loud over here. The two of wands, you finally are now making a decision for yourself. Now, do know that whatever decision that you're finally coming to the terms to or making, it is going to be beneficial in the long run. The two of wands talks about making good decisions, okay? You're using things that are your compassion and desire to make this decision here, Okay. Wow, this could be a fire sign like yourself that some of y'all are making a decision here towards or for or with. This could be a Leo, a Aries like yourself, or a Sagittarius here. Clarify the two of wands here. Clarify the two of wands here, spirit team. Why do we have the two of wands here? What is this decision here that Aries is making here? We have the three of wands. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. And then we have the Four of Cups. Wow. So you rejected someone here that wanted to reconcile with you. You are uh, in the space of not being able to be available emotionally for this person here. And this could be due to whatever may have happened or transpired between you two in the past. 
but you do not feel emotionally fulfilled by this person or you don't feel like that this offer is going to allow you to be happy or fulfilled at this time. Some of you all, this card sometimes indicates a missed opportunity here as well. So let's get more into that. Let's clarify this Three of Cups energy here. I feel like whoever this water sign or fire sign here is, for some of you all that wanted to reconcile with you, you rejected their offer here. This could have been someone who hurt your feelings here. Clarify the Three of Cups here, please. Why do we have the Three of Cups here? We got the hangman here, Pisces energy. Some of y'all, this person could be a Pisces here. And we also got the king of pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all, this could have been the father of your child. This could have been an ex-spouse or a husband figure here for some of you all. But whoever this masculine energy here is, they now see things from a different perspective. They now are not just seeing you know, they're not one-sided about this. They're not in their ego no longer about whatever may have happened or transpired between you two. This person now is seeing how you are feeling. They now are understanding what you mean by whatever you may have communicated to this person here recently or in the past here. Someone now has a different perspective and a different understanding about the relationship and overall what has transpired between you two. And I feel like the more that you rejected this person, it allowed them to open up and sit with themselves to see their behavior or see what they done or said in that very moment or situation when things may have happened and transpired between you two. Clarify the Four of Cups here, please. Why do we have the Four of Cups? Why do we have the Four of Cups here for Aries? Why do we have the Four of Cups here for Aries, please? Why do we have the Four of Cups here? The Queen of Wands. This could be in a Leo here for some of you all. Wow. And the Moon card. The fuck? Some of y'all, you found out that this person was in a third party. They kept this a secret. The moon card is here. This person was involved with someone else. And it's like, as you broke things down to this person, and now I feel like at first they wasn't looking at things from the way that you were looking at things where you were trying to explain to this person how you felt about this situation, how you found out that this person still could have been involved with this person. For an example, this person could have told you that they were separated from this person. They wasn't talking to this person. Uh, things of that sort, but that obviously was not the case here, you know, and whatever it is that you found out, this is the reason why you rejected this person because you can't trust this person. So I feel like that left you with no choice, but to make a decision here to move on. Clarify the moon card. Clarify the moon card, please. Wow, the two of pentacles. I can't make this up. This was definitely a third party here. This person was juggling you with someone else and you found this out. And this is why this hurt your feelings here. This could have been a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here. But the thing here is, is what I'm seeing with the two of pentacles in reverse. Someone now no longer wants to juggle you. So the reason why this person wants to come in and reconcile with you, because they no longer want to be in a position where they are either married to this person or in a connection with this person. Because from what I'm getting here, they now want to be with you. But obviously, you rejected them because you're like, you were in a whole marriage. How, how can I be able to trust that you're not going to do that again or that you're not going to go back to that same person here? How do I know that you're not going to lie and juggle me again, you know? Damn. All right, so let's see. Uh oh, my apologies. Let's see what this person here wants to say on behalf of everything that has transpired to your Aries between you and this person. Wow, we got they are jealous. I miss our talks and kisses. Yeah, this person definitely misses the conversations and things that you two used to talk about or discuss here, okay? Let's see what else. What else this person here wants to say to Aries at this time based off of everything that was channeled out here today? Oh, gosh, what is this? 
I'm taking my time with you. So I feel like if someone is able to get another opportunity or a chance with you, they're going to want to take their time. Yeah, I pick you any day. Wow. So this is definitely a third party situation here. Okay. That is just more even confirmation for me. It's like, I don't even honestly know what to say, <laughs> you know, because I wasn't fly on the wall, but yeah, I wish you was here. Someone definitely wishes that you were still around, you know? Yeah, look at that. I feel my best around you. It's crazy. I just said that someone wishes that you were still around and then we have, I feel my best around you, okay? So that's very significant, okay? Someone is definitely missing your presence, your conversations, the kisses, the conversations that you've had, all of that, okay? Wow. So I hope this person learned from this experience just as much as you have, right? Well, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here, Rams. Um, if you would love to further assist with this reading, if you need more insight, more clarity, if you want to see uh, what is the potential outcome for you and this person, my email details are down below, loves, in the description box. If you would love to book a personal reading, uh, definitely if you're new, again, subscribe, hit that like button, share, share, share this message with who you know the reading today may resonate for, and come check us out on Patreon, Aries. I do provide early access to my content there. You also get free questions when I go live. We kick it, we hang out, we evolve together as a family there and i also provide astrology reports learn about your birth chart who you are it's always something there to evolve and become a better version from yourself from so definitely come check us out on patreon and i look forward to your next energy check-in all right i wish you and this person here rams the best my loves Mwah. bye bye